On today's episode, we unbox some items. Okay. Oh yeah. A gimbal, guys. Oh yeah. Man, oh man. Yeah, we got some designer. If you know, you know. We got the box open. Okay, so we got the gimbal. I think. What up, YouTube? It's the next day. Just not leaving the gym. I'm about to head to the park. We're gonna go try out that gimbal that I got last night. So let's probably go get us a smoothie or something. And I'll see y'all at the park. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never seen a real tree paint job like that. Real tree. Look at that. All right, y'all, we're back with another video, man. Hey, real quick, man. I want to talk to you guys about what's going on with Prime right now. And the state of trucking. After the last two videos I posted, I seen I got a lot of feedback. And a lot of people are concerned. We got a lot of people co-signing what I'm posting that work at Prime. They saying it's legit. Then I had a few people saying, oh, I, I grossed 9,000 this week. Where's the, where's the misunderstanding? And I just wanted to ask y'all a question, man. What if Prime never recovers to its usual mystique? What if this is just the beginning of something big with a bunch of other companies that are going through transitions and they're actually losing so much money that they're trying to find ways to force drivers out who don't have any incidents um, and without having to pay unemployment? You know, i.e. the cameras. Uh, Prime to have more trucks than loads is crazy. So when I look at what they're doing now, and I'm seeing that these people not really making no money, it's insane, man. For, for for Prime to be as big as they is, they should be able to outpace every other carrier with as far as reliability and load and load amount um because they have so many trucks but for to see them going through this and i'm reading these comments y'all posting man there's so many comments guys go look at my other two videos i'm gonna post some of them on the, on the screen while i'm talking right now but what if they're not the only company that's doing this what if they're the only company that we're just hearing about what if it's other small mid-size that are also doing this as well. What if uh, Night Swift does this? What happens if Warner does this? What's gonna happen, man? Like, what is what is the real state of freight right now? Let, let's just be honest. What is the real state of freight? You know, I keep hearing about these these trains are coming online now, 
and the trains are coming on to the point where they're cutting loads in half. I'm looking at people complaining about the ports not paying nothing. I'm seeing companies advertise for jobs and a lot of people saying they're not getting a call back. Are they still being, are they being very competitive at the same time they need drivers or they don't need drivers? I don't think it's a shortage. I think it's too many drivers at this point. And what I'm trying to see is, you know, what is the what if? Like, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this without talking in circles. Like, what if trucking never recovers? What are we all going to do? What are you going to do watching this video? What you going to do? What if this is the new normal? These highs and lows we're going through right now. What if this is the stress that's going to remain in trucking to the point where it's not a good lucrative job anymore and you got to work your ass off to make six figures? What if? Um, what, what's your plan B? What's your plan C? You know, I always talk about having some outside of trucking. You always hear me talk about Never put all your eggs in one basket or depend on the next man to pay your bills at night. You need to always have a backup plan to be able to pay your bills at night. What if you're not in the truck today and you got to get out of that truck tomorrow? Look, look, look at me. What's your plan B? I want y'all to really sit back and think. Drop a comment below. What is y'all plan if you got to get out of that truck tomorrow? If freight slows down and you making $500 paychecks every week, what are you going to do? to make your ends meet. Nothing illegal, guys. Let's be for real. Um, I don't know, you know, for the majority of people, you know, how this is going to play out. But I do know that it's bad, man. And, and to see Prime, and then Prime playing like it ain't nothing going on, they, I don't think they put out a video yet. And for people to say they've been sitting four days and people not wanting to be trainers now. But what about that TNT phase that they got that takes so long to complete? Why is it so long? So maybe the TNT phase goes away or maybe they pay the trainers more or maybe they get away with the training and you just got to have experience You do a week of orientation. You know, what about that? You know, maybe they can save money that way to pay more to the drive off the load because Prime takes a lot off of each load. They take a percentage. So maybe cut back on the TNT phase. People don't need to be driving with nobody else on no 50,000 miles. They're like, like, come on. So it's ways they could cut the save on costs as opposed to them putting cameras in every truck, which is going to cost money. And it got everybody in the limbo right now. We don't know what's going on with trucking. And Prime is the main person out in front that we watching like, oh, damn. They ain't making no money. They putting cameras in the truck, but they self-insured. Why are they doing that? They trying to make y'all leave without having to. Because if they fire y'all, they got to pay y'all. You got to get unemployment. If you didn't do nothing unsafe on the road and they say, hey, we just going to let you go. They gotta pay you unemployment. Now, imagine if they fire a thousand drivers. They gotta pay you unemployment. So their tactic is put the cameras in. We're gonna make them quit. We ain't gotta pay them no unemployment. Cause they trying to save face right now. So I go back to my first question. What if you're not in that truck tomorrow? What are you gonna do? Do you got a trade? You got a college degree? You got a side hustle? You just got YouTube? Do you just, does, your, does your significant other make good money? What is your plan B? Because this is not going to be the only company going through this. It's going to be other companies. So, you know, like I said, if y'all want me to do like a live, you know, we do like a, a town hall, like open house brainstorming one day on a Saturday. And we can all just come up with ideas depending on where you live at. Let me know. Drop a comment. But I just want y'all to know that the travel truck don't do nothing but try to motivate y'all man all i do is bring y'all jobs i tell y'all the real i tell y'all what y'all need to hear y'all may not like it and i feel like it ain't that many people besides you know my circle of youtubers that i that i mess with that's really getting the word out there and i think a lot of y'all is being naive to think that trucking is gonna come back it's not gonna come back like y'all think it is um a lot of these companies are smaller than prime and they're doing worse than Prime. You just not hearing about it because they don't want that bad publicity. 
So, do you think Prime will ever recover? Do you think trucking will ever be the same? And what would you do if you had to get out of that truck tomorrow? Those are my three questions. Will Prime recover? Will trucking be the same? Will you have a backup plan if you got to get out of that truck tomorrow? I don't know. Y'all let me know, man. But that's it, man. We out here at the park. I'm going to finish working out. I'm going to get me something to eat. And I'll see y'all. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to do a job with you tonight. I got another job for y'all. I want y'all to check out. I'm going to drop that tonight. Y'all just be patient. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Thank you.